Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing brand new Dior Summer 2020 collection. It is called the Color Games Collection inspired from the Olympics. So if you are interested in seeing my thoughts on these products, seeing me demo them to create this look today, then just keep watching. Over the last year, I've definitely gotten into Dior more and I want to incorporate their limited edition collections on my channel more and review them because they've gotten more fun for me. I've been enjoying Dior products more and more, but of course there are hits and misses. I want to cover these collections for you so that you guys can know what is good and what is not. So I was excited to see the Summer Games collection release. The items released May 1st on the Dior website and I always recommend if you're going to buy something from Dior, especially a bigger order make it from the Dior website. They have fast shipping even during the pandemic. It comes packed beautifully and the gift with purchases are insane. With my order, I got this like really adorable pink Dior pouch that you can use as a little clutch when you go out or to hold your makeup. I got cute little mini J'adore perfume and then also this Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet set which has a few things in here. I'm gonna give this to my mom for Mother's Day but it's always worth it to purchase a luxury makeup items straight from the site because there always is a little bit extra touch you know that Sephora doesn't do. Let's talk about the collection now. Now from what I can tell based on my research it doesn't seem like every item in the collection is out. There only are select products out. I've purchased almost one item in every category for the collection that is on the website right now. Like I picked up one of the eyeshadows. I did pick up both of the blushes. I picked up one of the glosses and I picked up one of the bronzers. I imagine that the other items will be released at different retailers. There's probably some sort of deal that they have with certain retailers that they're gonna get this item and whatnot. It's technically not the whole collection, but this is what is out at the Dior collection right now. So if you see anything missing, it's just not on the website. They have a couple other blush formulas that are coming out, some cream eyeshadow formulas that are coming out. The Stellar Shine lipsticks are not on the website quite yet and some nail polishes and stuff as well. But I got what I could and I think I have a pretty good set to really represent the collection and the general information that they give on the collection is it is a limited edition collection with a bright and bold color scheme. This collection is inspired by sports fields, different from the nude natural style insisted by other brands. The Dior Color Games makeup collection uses bold hues to bring a new experience and make your makeup full of change. The embossing of these products are newly designed for this collection. They are so beautiful. I think that's one of my favorite parts about this collection is the embossing. I just, it's so pretty. I love embossed makeup. Brighter colors for summer. Unfortunately, it is sad that they made this whole Olympic kind of sports inspired collection and obviously with what is going on in the world, the Olympics isn't happening but it still is a really fun collection so if you would like to see my thoughts on it and see me demo the products and share my thoughts with you and just keep watching. Alright so we're gonna get started with the look and the demo. We're gonna start off with eyeshadow because I have to get my eyes on. So in this collection there are two different quints. They're called the Color Games Collection the Limited Edition as with everything in this collection and the one that I picked up was Sprint. So this is the more kind of wearable one. This is oranges, beige, sands, browns, and pinks. The other one in the collection is called Dive and that one's a little bit more colorful. You have a blue, peach, pink, plum in there. It's a lot more colorful. So I pass on that because I had not great experience with the quince that came out from last collection. I wanted to see if maybe it was just that collection or if it's their eyeshadows in general. I have to say I'm really happy just by looking at it that I purchased Sprint because it looks even more beautiful in person. I thought it looked kind of blah online but now that I have it in front of me, the colors look more vibrant and beautiful and I feel more inspired looking at it. It also has such a beautiful embossment. I'm really excited to dig into this. So that's what we're going to put on first. So I have on my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I don't think I mentioned this, but each of the quints are $63 each. They are pricey and that is why I only purchased one. We're gonna start off with the beige color and I'm going to just apply that right underneath my brow bone. And this has a slight shimmer to it and it pulls a little bit pinky almost but very very subtle it's actually is a really great under brow kind of highlight shade here i like this i'm trying to think how i want to go about this so i just kind of want to see how the pink does so i'm going to apply the pink to the inner half of my crease disclaimer for the disclaimer i just got out of the shower i'm using a t-shirt to soak up my hair 
Anyways, <laughs> using this pink on the inner part of my eye may have been a mistake because it kind of makes me look pink eye as I'm watching over the footage. It looked good in person, but on camera, I look like I have pink eyes. So if you're going to be on camera, maybe don't do that. So if you're applying this with a fluffy brush, it is a bit sheer. So if you have a deeper skin tone, I don't think this is gonna show up the best on you. On my skin tone, it is applying very nice and smooth. I felt like the last quint that I got from them that contained a pink, it was a bit chalky. This does not feel chalky at all. It's a bit more sheer and subtle, but on my skin tone, I don't mind that. We're gonna see how this hot orange does. Just going to apply this out here here and blend it almost all the way up to the brow bone. This is a sheer enough color that on my skin tone I can blend it all the way up and it won't look horrible. And just like the pink, this one is really sheer. I've got to be honest, like I like these colors even though they're not super packed with pigment. I kind of like that. I think it's very nice, wearable, and subtle for the summer. Of course if you have a deeper skin tone, I don't think this is going to show up, which is an issue for sure. We're gonna play with the deeper bronze. I'm gonna blend this into the outer half of the lid kind of work it in as a crease color and a lid color this quint I definitely like way more than the ones from the last collection I do think the last collection I can't speak on the other palette but this one does seem to have less pigmentation compared to the ones from last year but it's better quality also not as chalky and on my light skin tone it's fine but when you get into the deeper skin tone ranges you are not going to be happy with this and then i'm going to apply that last shade we haven't used into the first part of my lid and i'm using just a refer number one brush for this it's a little bit more golden i would like to have seen a different color though because i feel like it's very close to the color that i just used and on the lower lash line, we're going to stick the pink on the inner half and then the orange is going to go on the outer half. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of the dark brown right in the outer corner of the lower lash line to really deepen everything. So we have the pink. Now we're going to add some orange. I really like these lighter colors. I think they're really pretty. And then finally, I'm adding some of the darkest brown. So I like this quint. It is very soft and it's definitely not for deeper skin tones. I don't think you'll like this. Looking at the other quad, I think that one might be a little bit more suitable towards deeper skin tones, but it's also much brighter. But quality wise, I really like the application. I feel like it was really easy. I didn't struggle. And you have fun summer pops in here, but you also have like a bronzy summer option as well. So I think the color choices in here are very nice. I would have liked to have seen more pigmentation or like a version for darker skin tones because all of these are quite sheer but I like that they're sheer for me it worked out for me but I don't think this is going to work out for everyone so let's move on to the next items in the collection we have the mineral nude bronze and these again are limited edition and there are two colors so one is called light flame and this one is supposed to be a light bronze for fair skin and then the other one is warm flame and this is a warm bronze shade for darker skin tones. I don't like this. This feels a little icky to me. I have a pretty light skin tone, so I purchased the lightest shade because if there's a light shade and then a deeper shade, I would assume the light shade's for light skin tones and the deep shade is for like medium to deep. I worry about this. I need to try this, obviously, but I think I should have got the deeper one. And that one is very sad. Like, I shouldn't have to go for a deep one. Look how light I am. So as far as like inclusivity, it's absolutely not here. But let's get into the product itself and we'll see if this shade works for me. But you have the bronzer shade on the inside and then almost like a light pink kind of touch here in the center. On the darker one, Warm Flame, it's lighter on the outside, darker on the inside. This is $50 and I love Dior's bronze shades. Online it says it's designed with two tones. The powder infused with golden minerals catches the light and the skin in a sun-kissed glow. One shade enhances the face, the other flushes the cheek with a shock of energy. So I don't know if it's kind of like you want the outside to bronze and then the inside to do the cheek, but looking at the other one, the inside color is deeper. So I don't know. I'm not too sure about this one. So I'm, we're going to do that though. I'm going to use the outside first and then the inside. So here we go. I mean, it's kind of impossible not to hit the center shade. Oh, it's definitely pink though. I don't know if you can see that. 
but this does pull pink from the inside. I think this is gonna look good on you if you have a really, ooh, that's really, really pink. Kind of does flush the cheeks though, weird. Let me see if I can really just, I think this is going to be a very flattering bronzer for cooler skin tones. Cause I don't know if you saw that, but it was very, very pink. This does show up on my skin though. So if you have like a light to medium complexion, I am happy that I got Light Flame. Though I am interested to see how the deeper one would work for me. But this is a good bronzer. I'm going to apply just a little bit of the center. And that definitely pulls pink if you just pull from the center. Very interesting. I actually like this so far. And it smells really good. Like that really clean Dior smell. The pigmentation on this surprised me. I don't love it. It's not the most flattering shade for my skin tone. Because it is a little bit too pinky for me to put all over the face. But at the same time, the pink is a little bit more reminiscent of sun anyways. So I like this. It's not my favorite. But I think if you have a cool undertone you will like this and um, this did surprise me this definitely has some unique qualities compared to a lot of bronzers and you can kind of blush and bronze at the same time which is not a common concept so this is actually really cool i'm happy i picked this one up and i'm not going to pick up the darker one but i would also be interested in seeing how that works as well but i'm not mad at this this is kind of cool something that i did see it seems that they are limited on what they have on the website right now they also seem to have other blush products they're called the mineral nude glows where there are more actual colors with the same kind of idea of this where there's a lighter flush color on the outside and then more of a blush pop color on the inside that one's very reminiscent of the charlotte tilbury i don't know if that's going to come to separate retailers but they're not on the website right now but those do look beautiful i'm glad they weren't on the website because i would have bought those too it does seem that they have more products coming out with this kind of concept but they did have two of their other blush formula. This is their Rouge Blush Formula. Both of these are limited edition colors. They are $45 each, which of course is pricey, but I'm so ready for Dior to update this packaging. I just think it's so outdated and just cheap looking and old lady looking. But the two colors that they have are Beach Volley, and then the other one is Pink Pong. Really cute how they have the sporty names. I love the Olympics. I'm so sad. But these are beautiful colors. I couldn't not get them, and of course, of course it has the beautiful embossment that is specific to this collection. We'll do one color on one cheek and then one color on the other cheek. These blushes also complement the eyeshadow quint that I bought very very well. So I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna do the pink pong on one cheek. These do seem to have a little bit of shimmer glitter in the pan. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but there are some shimmery reflex in the pan. Me again. Another thing I did kind of want to specify or correct myself, glitter is a really strong word because there's not literally chunky glitter or anything in there, but there is some little flecks in there that you kind of see it looks a little bit of alarming. They hit the light in the pan and that does correspond onto the cheek, but it easily brushes away. I personally didn't find it to be annoying or unflattering or anything that if somebody is afraid of glitter, like, that you wouldn't like. It's not the best, but honestly, like, it's fine. So I got just a little bit on the brush. These do have a lot of color to them. This is a really pretty pink flush. Complements the eye palette very, very well, which I love the cohesion between the two. And that's a really pretty blush. It does remind me a lot of the Rosy Vibes blush, I believe it's called. That's already in their line. But it's really pretty. From what I'm able to see, I can see a little bit of those shimmer reflex on my cheek that aren't exactly embedded into the formula. So some little glitter flecks are there. Peach Volley now. I'm excited for this one. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. So though these have a matte finish, finish on the skin, they do slightly have some sheen to them. That just completely contradicted what I said. They have like that powder matte finish on the skin, I guess is the way I want to put it. But you can see very, 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 very subtle sheen to it, but it's not too noticeable. That's really pretty too. I really like these blushes. The colors in here, they're not unique, I would say, but they're really pretty and they're very cohesive with the collection. I'm going to kind of mix both really quick to see if we can even 
things out. So last thing we are going to apply is the Lip Maximizer. So this is just a gloss and they came out with two glosses in this collection. We have the one that I bought which is Shimmer Nude. This just looks like a beautiful beigey shimmer shade. And then they also have a darker color which is brown, a chocolate brown. And that one I think is going to be great for those deeper skin tones. Let's see, I have underneath my Almar Cosmetics lip liner in Dulce which is a staple for me. Let's see what we think. Not too much color to it. It is kind of that milky, luminous beige shade. A really great lip color. Don't think I necessarily needed this, but I love glosses that are like this that I can pair with a lip liner or over any kind of nude lipstick. So this gloss is most definitely my style. It's not a sticky formula. It's a moisturizing formula. It has a mint scent to it. And you can kind of feel a little bit of tinglies on your lips, but nothing bad. Beautiful, luxurious packaging on this guy. I love the packaging of Dior lip glosses, but this is not a new formula for them. If you know you like the formula, this might be something you're interested in. I like this. These are $34 each. I think this is a great nude color. I'm gonna take a moment to collect myself and then I'll be back for my final thoughts on this collection. I am happy to report that I am pleasantly surprised with this collection. I thought it looked really pretty. I wasn't exactly moved by this collection, but I was intrigued and I wanted to pick it up since I really like Dior and I like this collection a lot more than I thought I would. So we'll start off with the eyeshadow palette that I picked up. Again, really wish they would just update this awful packaging. Why did they only update like half of their line? This needs stepped up, but I am very, very happy with this quint. A lot more than I thought I would be. I almost completely skipped out on the eyeshadow palettes in this collection and just purchased the face products and lip products. Very happy I decided to pick this one up. I think the colors in here are so good for summer. If you want, you can actually use this as a blush right here. I think without the pink you get a beautiful bronzy look. You can just use these two shades or you can add the orange. I think with the orange and the browns on my lid, it looks so fabulous, but the pink doesn't look out of place either. I really like it. I really like the quality of this. I'm much more impressed with this palette than I am the ones that came out in the last collection. Of course, I can't speak on the other one that's in this collection. The colors in that quint are a little bit harder to create, so it is possible that the quality on that one might not be as good, but thoroughly impressed with this. The only thing is, I would say if you have a deeper skin tone, this isn't for you. The colors are more sheer, and that's the thing with Dior, the aesthetic of Dior eyeshadows isn't about pigmentation like a lot of other brands like ABH for example, they're all about pigmentation. Dior isn't, they're about sophistication, sheer application, subtle eye makeup looks very elegant. It's just a formula that you either like or you don't. I like it in this one, I don't like it in some of their other quints, it just depends on what you pick up. Let's talk about the bronzer, something I was nervous about at first and I'm very surprised by it. It does show up deeper on my skin tone and it's a very interesting concept of like a blush and bronzer mixed into one. Normally it's like blush and highlight. I haven't seen very many bronzer blush combos but I really feel like this does complement both. As you get to the forehead I would play more of the edges but this does have a very rosy undertone to it and if you don't think that's going to be very flattering on your skin tone I would pass on it. But even for me I don't think it's the most flattering but it's different. I don't have anything like this in my collection and I really love the concept behind it. The color is really nice. The blendability is lovely. So for me, this is worth it. I'm very happy I picked this up and I'm very surprised at how much I like this. I can't wait to be using this this summer. Then the blushes. I absolutely love the colors that they came out with. Hate the packaging. Don't know why they came out in this packaging. They could have done so many fun things with the theme, but the blushes are beautiful. I don't necessarily think they're original colors, anything that you need to run out and buy. However, I love how cohesive they are with the collection as a whole especially with the particular eyeshadow quint that I purchased. I love a pink blush and I think this is a really pretty blush. It goes really well with the Rosy Vibes highlighter that came out in the last collection. Very smooth on the skin, very easy to apply. If you like a good powder pink blush, this is beautiful and it also has a lot of pigmentation. And then the peachy color here is also really stunning. And this one ties in so beautifully to the orange. The pink ties in so beautifully to the pink in that quint. I love all the products that I've gotten so far. The only thing 
something that I could have passed on and been okay with is the lip gloss. And even then, it's a good lip gloss. I just have so many lip glosses. You know, this doesn't have a very standout formula. It's a good formula. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about this. It just, of everything here, it's the least unique to me. It's something that I just really <laughs> didn't need, but it is nice. I have nothing bad to say about the formula and the color is really stunning, especially underneath a lip liner or on top of any type of nude lip. This is a very versatile color, so there's nothing wrong with it at all. So I am still happy I purchased it, but if something had to go off the island, it would be this. If you can't tell, very pleasantly surprised with this collection. I really love everything in here. And I was a little skeptical because the last collection, I feel like there were some major misses there. There were also some major hits, don't get me wrong. This one, especially with the eyeshadows, I was like, I don't know, but I was proven wrong. So if you are interested in purchasing anything in this collection, everything that I bought, at least I can give it a thumbs up. So that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you guys take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.